for you. It's not taken lightly. And I, every time I pray that I would get a word from the Lord to encourage somebody in the house. And if you could turn in your Bibles to Ephesians chapter 3, and we're going to be reading verses 2 through 6. And when you have it, please say amen. Ephesians chapter 3, verse 2 through 6. If you have heard of the dispensation which is given to me towards you, how that by revelation he made known unto me the mystery, as I wrote afore in a few words, whereby when you read, ye may understand my knowledge in the mystery of Christ, which in other ages was not made known unto the sons of men, as it is now revealed unto his holy apostles and prophets by the Spirit, that the Gentiles should be fellow heirs and of the same body and partakers of his promise in Christ by the gospel. And if I could put a title to this, it's the benefits of abiding in the house. Amen. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, we thank you, O oh God. We magnify your name today, Lord Jesus. We thank you that you uh, allowed us to be in your house one more time, Lord Jesus. We expect miracle signs and wonders to take place in this place today. We rebuke every spirit that is not like you. We pray that your perfect will be done amongst us, Lord Jesus. And above all, that your name be glorified in this place. In Jesus' name, amen. You may be seated. In Matthew chapter 16, verse 15 through 19, he said, Jesus asked, Son of man, who did I say that I am? And Peter said, Thou art Christ, the Son of the living God. And Jesus answered and said unto him, Blessed art thou, Simon, for flesh and blood hath not revealed it unto thee, but my Father which is in heaven. And I say also unto thee that thou art Peter, and upon this rock, I will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. And I will give unto thee the keys of the kingdom of heaven and whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth shall be bound in heaven and whatsoever thou shalt loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Talking about the church. Uh, the church was founded on the revelation of who Jesus actually was. God manifested in the flesh. Can I get amen? amen. And we know that the church was purchased with his own blood because Acts 20 and 28 said, take heed therefore unto yourselves and to the flock over the, that which the Holy Ghost had made you overseas to feed the church of God, which he hath purchased with his own blood. Amen. And I'm going to switch 24 verse 6 through 9. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that you not be troubled. Anybody know about the war that's in Syria right now? Are we in the, we're in the last days, church. For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nations shall rise against nation, and the kingdom against kingdoms, and there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. And these shall be the beginning of sorrows, and these are the beginning of sorrows. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you and you shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. The Bible says these are the beginning of sorrows. Then you shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. And I would say that it would behoove you to have the name applied to your life if you're going to suffer for something that you do not have or if you're going to suffer for something that you do not have. Well, we went uh, in Matthew 16. He said he gave Peter the keys to the kingdom and how you get in this body, because if you're going to be afflicted, you might as well be getting afflicted for a cause. Amen. And then Acts 2 and 38, a verse that we all know very well. Then Peter said unto them, repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins. And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Anybody glad to be a born again believer? Anybody in the house glad to be in the house of God? Because you could be out there bound in sin, locked up, but you're in the house of God. God has purchased you with his own blood. You went down in that water in Jesus' name. So is anybody glad to be in the house? Uh, James chapter 4 says, but Go now, you say, today or tomorrow we go into such a city and continue therein and buy and sell and again. Whereas you know not what shall be on the morrow, for what is your life? It is even but a vapor that appeareth for a little time and then vanisheth away. Amen. I, I want to encourage somebody that while you're in the house, because you, you're not promised tomorrow, but while you're in the house, I believe that we should give God all that we have. I believe that we should, because the spirit of the Lord 
is in this place. The Bible says in Luke chapter 10, notwithstanding, rejoice not that the demons are subject to you, but rejoice that, that your name is written in the Lamb's book of life. We have something to rejoice about. And I leave you with Revelation chapter 9. And I heard it to word the great, a voice of the great multitude and the voice of many waters. Is a voice of mighty thunder saying, Hallelujah, for the Lord omnipotent reigneth. Let us be glad and rejoice and give honor to him, for the marriage of the Lamb is come, and his wife hath made herself ready. And, her, and to her was granted that she be arrayed in fine linen and in clean white, for the linen is the righteousness of the saints. And he said unto me, Blessed are they that are called unto the marriage supper of the Lamb. And he said unto me, These are the true sayings of God. I am just want to encourage somebody in the house today that we have something to rejoice about. Your name was written in the Lamb's book of life. Not by your own filthy righteousness, but your name is written in the Lamb's book of life. So I encourage you through this service today to get all that you can from the Lord because there's miracles in this place. There's healing in this place. There's refreshing for your soul in this place because we are in the house. Somebody rejoice that you're in the house today. 